We're not sure how many of you have stayed, how many of you have gone, yep. but we're back. Um, yeah. Did, did you tell them why? Yeah, I said the internet's gone down. Yeah. Weird, wasn't it? But no one listened, they just assumed that we were doing naughty stuff. Oh, two people. Hey. Hello. Hey, Sam Long, nice to have you in. Hello again, people. Sorry about the um, technical difficulties there. Um, something trips the main board. And it's been happening quite often, actually, hasn't it? The last two days have just been tripping and we can't figure out what it is. Um, so, yeah. I would have been back sooner, but I was having a poo. So, fourth one of the day. Yeah, fourth. Fifth, actually. Sorry about that one happening again. <laughs> Yeah, you used to be more careful next time, die. <laughs> Tom Man, yes. Get Tom Man! Oh, we don't mind us slightly of our YouTube side chess as well. <laughs> I'm bouncing! Do you know what? It's, really, it's so well padded that if you sit on the dip bit, you fall into the dip. It doesn't look like, Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Did you get the vape liquid? What vape liquid? Yeah, what vape liquid? Hey, do you think that's that? Oh, the um, juice owner. Because there was no name, was there? Dragon fruit. No, it didn't get... Um... His name wasn't Sam, was it? There was no name. It was just the company name. Oh, uh, it was the company. What was the company's name? Was it Dragon Fruit? No. no. It was... It was um, something. Stop putting your foot on my juice! Um, how many of you what you call it? Where you're from? <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, Actually, we sing that again. <laughs> it's Dying Nick in the Power for a Japanese grill in the back garden. <laughs> oh, did you mean, did I, have I bought it or did you send us it? Because if, you, if you've sent us something, we haven't had anything yet. Um, I have had. A king prawn chow mein and the prawns were gritty. Oh, that means they haven't evaded been... them. Yeah. That's a sign of a shit kitchen. You've just eaten shit! No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's gonna be cooked and absolutely fine, it's just grit. Yeah, it's not really shit either, it's no. just like bits of sand, isn't it? But it's still not very enjoyable. What? Well, I mean, where does it move? I like, honestly have never been anywhere that doesn't remove the grit. Well, if you're a shit chef, then you don't know how to do it, or can't be asked. Yeah. I remember you saying you, you're the one with the um, the red, blue, and silver, two thousand. I want to say nine. What round here? No, he talked oh. about it about three months ago. Two thousand three, yeah, two thousand three. Thank you, Johnny. I, 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 when, when did you send it to us? I haven't received anything. But thank you very much. I didn't realise that. And I do vaguely remember talking about dragon fruit to someone not that long ago. Look, but I think it was on a live stream and I think I might have been very drunk. No, I think we were just talking about the actual dragon fruit and what it tastes like. Because I am always curious as to what it tastes like because I've mm. never tried it before. Uh, stop putting your foot on my juice. <laughs> Yeah, the under rear exhaust. Yeah, I remember that too, Dive. That did sound um, I think it's turned up. What address did you send it to? <laughs> oh. Well, it would have been um, Old Chapel, wouldn't it? Unless. No, I'm asking because like, sometimes people put the news and stuff. Oh. Maybe you've had something and Liam just hasn't told you don't say it. Maybe I'll check. Yeah. Well, the thing is, though, if it's vape and you've sent it via Amazon, unless someone's there to sign for it, they won't let you have it. 
and no one's there till about one o'clock. Well, no one um, is there. Oh, Royal Mail. Hmm. If you have the receipt, go to Royal Mail because you can claim back for that. They've obviously lost it. Yeah, because normally we'll get um, a, a slip. I oh, one always leaves a slip if dragon fruit is overrated. Yeah, I can't see that it tastes like the actual fruit tastes of much. It doesn't, but it's like I'm assuming dragon fruit flavored things don't actually taste like no. peach flavored stuff doesn't actually taste like peach. No, it tastes delicious. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm sad now. <laughs> that sounds like yeah. really, really nice. <laughs> Um, can I have some, some gin? Is there any gin left? Uh, no, but there's a, a bag of nerve gin. Fine. Off you pop. No. Put your pants on the right way around. When you guys are the takeaway. Um, avocado. Oh, I love avocado. You don't like avocado, do you? I hate avocado. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I love a good coffee. To me, it tastes like absolute. How is that one already open? But you already had an. Oh, that was the one from. That's that one. Yeah. Um. When are we in the takeaway? When, when are you in the takeaway next? Um. Who said that? Um. Uh, Sam. Uh, personally, well, I don't know because I'll be fluttering between the two. But there's all, someone always there after one. Oh. In fact, there's someone there normally earlier than that, but because they're in the kitchen and the door's locked and the kitchen is behind a takeaway and then behind a restaurant, even if someone bangs on the door, they're never going to hear it. Passion fruit. And peach jaffa cakes sound amazing, and I'm very disappointed that they weren't good. They would have just gone through the door, though. Yeah. Because we have a letterbox. Yeah, we do, don't we? Oh. Cod every time. Mm. I don't like papaya. Oh, I love... Oh, no, wait, is it papaya tastes like garbage to me, like the smell of garbage. Um, pomegranates. I love pomegranates. No, papaya juice is really nice. I really oh, like I've it. never had papaya juice. Uh, Rubicon do it. It's delicious. You don't like it, you say it smells like cat wing. No, it's guava. Guava! I love guava juice. Mm. But they do do have papaya juice as well. Awesome. Sounds cool. Oh, yeah. I hate banana. Oh, banana is delicious. They make me gag because it's like when you chew on them. You could do so many things with them. You could put them in cakes, you can put them in smoothies, you can oh. eat them as they are. You can make ice lollies out of them. Oh, no, they're, they're, they're weird. Like when you're chewing on them, the texture is not unlike if you if someone's just spat like a bogey loogie into your mouth, and then they're also slightly salty like that as well, and they make me yeah. gag. Hi, Chris. Christopher. <laughs> yeah, papaya is horrid. We call, um, we call it crap crap. Crap crap? It smells like crap. Who says that? Yeah, I have loads of food dislikes. Yeah. Could have guessed it was alright. I like dry banana as well. That's really nice. Oh, I hate mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms are just the worst. Mushroom is delicious. Stop being horrible about the good food. Yeah. Days off aren't that easy for us. Um, yeah, we can. We, I've missed funerals, weddings. Because we, we just can't have days off. Hmm. Who said, what? Why did you say that? Sam. Oh. Hmm. 
Yeah. Hopefully now though, with the um with the uh, uh, new it. hours, it'd be easier to have some time outside of work. Well, let's just see how what like the situation. Yeah. The shitball bag situation. <sighs> Yeah, exactly. When you run your own business, people don't realise what you give up. They all think it's like roundabouts, fairy dust, hopes and dreams. And in reality, it's like you're clawing your way through life. Just on the off chance you might make it. Mm. What's pawpaw? Pawpaw. I've heard of it. I've never seen one. Put that down because if I drop that on the sofa, yeah. Thank you, and I hope it has because it's not easy. And you know, like when we're in the, the kitchen itself, and someone's normally in there by 10 o'clock, but we're still going until 10 o'clock at night, cleaning down in the summer. It'll be earlier, we'll start well early, but I mean, on average, I say all year round, we probably do it 20 hour, uh, 12 hour days. So in the winter, sometimes it'll only be like 10 hours, and in the summer, we do 16 hour days. Poor boy, boy, crap, crap. Thanks, RSA. <laughs> Can we just take it? Oh. Yeah, let us know the situation and we can write that. Eight till midnight, Jesus oh. Christ. My hair grows quite fast. What are you talking about? It's because I've I've um I've combed it over. I only got my the side of my hair sh shaved off, what was it, three weeks ago? And it's already that long. Yeah. I've seen gardens grow slower. Meaning your hair is probably growing quite fast. No. Hey. Right? I've seen gardens grow slower. This normally means that you, you would normally say I've seen gardens grow faster. Yeah, if it was yeah, but short. I've seen gardens grow slower. Hold on, I can't translate <laughs> that into my head. <laughs> no, when I can't play that, I absolutely still stress and heartbreak involved. Community and tax returns, wages, etc. Don't envy you, mate, but I think you've grown something that will be big. Hopefully. I do hope so. Hope it's worth it. Ouch. What? 20 hours a day for a fishmonger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. I don't know why. And he slammed your van into Central Reservation. Fuck that. I wouldn't get in a car if I'm tired. I won't drive if I'm Why tired. Why 20 hours? I'm guessing because they need to travel to pick up from a certain place. And then he's maybe delivering, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. He's saying how crazy, how quick it, how it, grow, how quick it grows. Oh. Off your pop, eh? Yeah, but... The I've seen gardens grow slower. Do gardens grow fast then? It's a garden. Things grow. That's what they're made for. Yeah, but in my head, gardens grow really slowly. Just sit back. Shut up. Like, what grows really fast to me? Our gardens. Uh, I can't think of anything that grows fast. Um, Willies? It's the only thing I can really think of. What? Continuously growing? Bamboo, yeah, but I was looking for something that just... I was going to say a dehydrated sponge. <laughs> it looks good from a way away, but once you get closer, you can see his head. Yeah. The skin. I've always had really thin hair. It looks thick, but it's really wispy, like baby hair. That's why I can do this and gravity doesn't have any effect. Because my hair's basically non-existent. It's more a thought of hair. If you look how weird, weirdly sort of light my eyebrows are, there's plenty of hair there. It's just really sort of thin hair. But lots of hair, just 
just not coarse. It's not coarse. Yeah, it's like when you had when we shaved your head, it was like shiny. That's because it was your skin. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still getting the tone up back. Yeah, you see, that's what was a good thing. I don't know. I felt, I just felt like one of those jumped up idiots who walk around with a top knot in. Who? Like, do you know what I mean? Sometimes some people just look, it just looks wanky on them. I just don't want people. I only have it because Lydia likes it. I love garlic mushrooms in the batter, but I eat the outside and pop the mushroom out. Crash the suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting to read it. <laughs> Did he? You left the bike with the door open. It's driving me crazy. I actually looked to check. <laughs> Just go back outside, Di, please. <coughs> Imagine if he, if he was that dedicated to um, stalking that one day he did actually come down. No. It would be hilarious if he did just turn up out of the blue and he just waited outside the window, just standing there for us to see him. <laughs> Please do that. A little bit. If you get it like a spare day, An absolute do it. hero move. Yeah. I wouldn't even be mad. <laughs> Tom Mount don't let no one draw him. <laughs> Beth does have a point. Yeah, she does. does. <laughs> Beth, now you can't see anything. Don man, he is a king. He little, he little emperor man. He is because he sits there like a little emperor. He's not king. He emperor because he. He no king, he emperor man. He's like an emperor penguin cat. No. Is that one of my bit as? No, I don't know what it is. Yes, it is. I don't know what it is. Leave it. I can feel it's attached to my face. I I have like six, and I want to keep them. No, you have one. One. No, two. here you have. Yeah, so it's still part of my face. When can I buy every version of goldfish from your store? Well, I'm only going to have one to start with because I have to buy it by the pallet. So we're going to have the Madras one. Um, basically, the warehouse isn't big enough. <laughs> um, we didn't anticipate that at all. With all the extra products we've got on the web store, it actually means that I can't buy in the bulk I was originally hoping for. But I'm still literally on, I think, 90% of our products the same or cheaper than the other four major online Chinese retailers, which is a huge feat. It means that their profit margins, because um, they can buy in such big bulk, are much bigger than ours, but I'm taking the risk of like running a really low profit margin in the hope of getting to the point where I can get another warehouse, buy it in much larger bulk and you know keep the prices as they are uh, sorry lower the prices even more and and still be generating quite a bit of revenue because we would be cheaper still to be fair i was going to stalk anyone who'd be careful <laughs> i would too because the guy's a mystery is he like what does he do in his spare time there's no, there's no sort of... He probably stalks people. <laughs> it was actually Kevin who said his book and he's crying. I, don't know. <laughs> I just want them to like me. Oh, that's a nice shot. Yeah, it's a nice 
Just the fucking talk. Mando, this is the way. Any chance that you could get some better rants? Great right. stuff, Parcel Force. Not for us, but for the sake of your profit margins. <coughs> In all honesty, what the rates we got um, are better than the rates of our turnover we should have been having because I showed the guy um, our YouTube channel at the time we had about 55,000 subscribers. And I was like, look, right now it's small, but I want to use you. He goes, well, this is what we would quote for a company your size. And I went, look, if you give me a good one now, we'll stick to this rate for, let's say, a year, a year and a half. I think it's 18 months. And then if I'm exceeding those targets, we talk about me getting a lower rate even more. They went, no, we can't do that. But what we'll do is we'll just give you a low rate and then if we see that you are selling enough to go to the lower lower rate that's when we'll put you so i've missed i have to earn my way to the lowest rate but i skipped having to earn my way to the middle rate if that makes sense because mm -hmm. he, he said i can see the potential that you've got and we we do want to help um but i mean there, there are limits because if it wasn't for your YouTube channel, it would be, um, or there were potential, it would be a different story. Mm. Um, someone, oh yeah, which size of Madras will you sell? Also, how spicy is it in comparison to medium and hot? Uh, can you read that again? Please? What size of Madras will you sell? Also, how spicy is it in comparison to gold, <coughs> medium and hot? I'd say it's... Less spicy than the hot, but more spicy is in the middle of those two. Um, as far as I can tell, I can you can only get it in the small tubs. It's really nice. Or you can get the normal goldfish medium in large Chinese takeaway, nine kilo tubs or eight kilo tubs. Um, but they don't do the madras or any of the other ones in those big pots. So I think it's a small 400 gram Pots, I think they are. Do I need to call Paul up to order before I turn up? Also, do you do Asian food there? We do, well, that's where we have our Chinese takeaway. Um, if you do come, because I'm not there, if I'm not there, message me and I'll... Oh, no, because if I'm not there, I probably won't be there all day and I won't be at the... I'll be at home. If you come down, you could just come and stand outside the window and die if you want. Yeah. If you come, if you're coming down, or you have an idea, just let me know in advance, and I'll see if I can make it there or not. So then you don't waste the trip, basically. As much as this might hurt your feelings, it's not going to just say it. Not everything's about you. Oh. It is. Well known. Well, mm, well, well, it is. Mm. Hi, Chris Morris. Which is amazing, by the way. Thank you. Yes, I've got. I'm writing two books as we speak at the moment. I've stopped writing. It's the, it's a vegan. The next one is the vegan version of my cookbook. But I'm also writing at the same time a comparison. So you got you'll have a recipe, a different recipe for let's say chow mein as in the original book, and then you'll have the the traditional version or what it, the the chow mein was derived from because some of the Chinese dishes on a Chinese takeaway menu don't actually exist in Chinese but we have but it does stem from somewhere so that version will be in there and you'll have them side by side but the one I really want to write is our Malaysian street food um, cookbook because that's my fact that's what my family has always done it's what we do down the weir it's what I used to do until lockdown we stopped doing Chinese takeaway food to do the street food and uh, we have Malays come in and say it's better than the food they can get at home in Malaysia. Um, we have people who travel the world, but you can't get food like this anywhere. We've, had, we've even had people go to the Michelin star restaurant, Malay one in um, London, and come to ours and goes, yours is better. Like, you, you need to move to a city. <coughs> um, 
Yes, new video is up this week. It's, it's got Wednesday the seventh. I've edited it. What of this this Wednesday? I guess so. And die. I probably would be freaked out, but you would probably do your classic. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm getting nervous now. I'm getting nervous. Oh my god! I'm getting nervous. And then you'd be okay, wouldn't you? Do it. Find out. I have to confirm that. I can't find. At the moment, it's fine. But um, oh yeah, I'll try and confirm it. Off the top of my head, because I haven't actually purchased the crate yet, because I have to wait for my forklift to turn up, because I have to have a forklift in order to buy by the pallet. So um, individually, 270 sounds like it's a bit expensive. I think I'm working on selling them. I'm trying to get them cheaper than Tesco's, but I don't know. Tesco's selling, I think, for 250. <laughs> I hate that as well. There used to be, I think it was Instagram that used to put the enter button next to the delete. So you'd press enter and it posts your post. Or was it Twitter? I can't remember. Awesome, man. I know you don't need to um, phone up, but it's probably best you have a look at our menu, which is on our Facebook page. Um, Ziang's Chinese takeaway. So is it? I've got a pump truck, yeah, but I need, I need the forklift to get it off the, tr the lorry because they won't take it off. They won't. Oh, hi, Ben. How long have you been in for? Ages. Has he? Yeah. How many have I had? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. He's just got here. Don't you worry. <laughs> That's just blown my mind. Uh, anyway. It'll be cheaper than 270. Um, I'm just trying to find the email they sent me. It's £2.70. That's what they sell it in their store for. Is that not that's good though? Yeah, because it's, yeah, it is quite good. Considering how many portions you get out of it. Why won't they take it off? Thank you, Stardust. You can have your shot you get, You're going to get four portions out of a uh, 400 gram tub. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's still quite good. Hello, TSU. Hmm. Number two is are Yes, we are, but the site's not up yet. It'll be hopefully be up on Tuesday. And we sell them in three twenty gram no, three blocks, two kilos, four kilos or a box. Which is seven point seven kilos. Oh we're way cheap like our, our noodles. There's only one place online that is Hi, Stu. Oh no, sorry. There's no nowhere online that matches our um lucky vote noodle prices in store they do but not they won't they don't sell them online so and when i say we're literally i think nearly four quid cheaper than the cheapest one out there per that's per big box that is <clears throat> what was that about the chili that went too quick Looking forward to the live stream of Physical Meetup in 2021. I'm so excited. I might just get naked now and dance. Oh, it went it went away too quickly. But basically, Di's really excited, so he's going to get naked. We'll leave you to it, Di. <laughs> Marvellous, can't wait. I bloody love them. Nothing comes close. They are good. They're like, well, they're the best ones, aren't they? I find I use 50 grams of 250 Yeah, so I'll be able to sell them for £2.40. Mm, pretty good. Yeah. Sorry, Jim, just quick maths. Would you not consider packing your food cooked 
your food cooked food in cold packs doing 24 hour courier delivery to customers with heating instructions of course because of myself um i've already thought of it already researched it uh in order to do that i'd probably have to charge an extra fiver for that for because <clears throat> what you have to do is you have to buy an insulated bag to put inside a box these obviously come in different sizes but the cheapest is 93p before vat so let's say roughly one pound 20. then you have to put these gel packs in which are frozen and depending on the size of the package let's say just say let's just say a small package like that that's one pound 20 already and then um the gel packs on top are one pound 50 each so if we say conservatively i put two and a half to seal whatever's in there that's a fiver there it is but if i charge you the fiver then i have to charge the vat on top of that otherwise that comes straight out of my pocket um so that would be looking at around nearly seven quid extra um uh, you owe a shot and go ahead with the question sam oh do i it's sweetie shot i'm not doing a sweetie shot no no that's horrible i will throw up if i drink that no sweetie shot long story short it's too expensive yeah <laughs> pretty much <laughs> maybe one day but not right now. I mean, I did think about that because I've, don't get me wrong, the margins on it would be quite good if I could get the shipping down. But yeah, it's not realistic at the moment. In your book, I think you said, I'm going to do a vegetarian book soon. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. You're planning on that, aren't you? Yeah. I said that earlier, Sam. Literally about three, four minutes ago, I said a vegan vegetarian. I think, didn't you ask me the question about am I writing another book? No, that was someone else. Yeah. Those gel packs are so good to use, but it must be expensive, yeah. Yeah, they're mega expensive. Thank, Thank you, Stardust. <laughs> um, another one. Uh, right, okay, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm halfway through writing that, but I've stopped because of all these other things going on. Is Matt um, a vegan? No, he's taking the back. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. okay. I know that. But I, I, I do realise that as well. And part of the reason that puts me off is that, you know, fro not, not frozen, but like like cold food when you reheat it is never as good. And what puts me off is that I don't want people thinking I'm just sending this stuff out because of that. And... Mm. And it is really difficult. I mean, we did actually used to do it before we started YouTube in our shops. And we'd sell frozen meals. Like, we'd make 20 frozen meals for the day. And people would come in and buy, like, 10 each. Go. And then we'll see them two weeks later. Come back, buy 10 each. Yeah. <clears throat> well, there was one, wasn't it? Just just before we closed for the winter or something, wasn't it? Yeah, about two years ago when we still had the time to do it. Yeah. We were like, we've got 20 left. How many do you want? All, All of, of them. them. <laughs> Once I have done my garden, I'm naming it Kyle Smith Memorial Garden, and I want you to open it next to your one day. Once I have done my garden, I'm naming it Kyle Smith Memorial Garden, and I want you to open it next your one day. God knows where. It's only a small bit of my garden, but it's mine and mine. I'm marking tomorrow garden. I want you to open it next year, one day, God knows when. It's only a small bit of my garden. Yes, of course, I'll do that for you. Sounds like a lovely idea. Yeah, it does. Oh, she's matching me. <laughs> huh? Sorry, Chin, just cheeky. I've got a day off tomorrow and I'm matching you. <laughs> That's an awful joke, Chris. <laughs> oh, awful joke. Best thing to put on a barbecue. Food. Lydia goes, can, she always goes, can you not take 
anything seriously. Is life just a joke to you? Yes, I take joking very seriously. I don't know what the best thing Best thing to put on a barbecue is Chinese roast pork. Do my recipe, but don't fry it. Do my recipe, take it out, and then glaze it. Don't glaze it in in um, honey. Find maltos. Get get a little bit of your maltos is thick as well. You think treacle's thick? It's like three times thicker. It's almost solid. Yeah. What the stuff in that white pot? Yeah. And you take it out, put it in the microwave for about ten seconds to loosen it up a bit, and take a couple spoons of the um, the barbecue mix, the sauce mix. Make a brush it on top of the char siu. This time it is char siu, not Chinese roast pork, because char siu is technically only char siu if it's done over a flame. And then finish it off over the barbecue. And oh my god, it is next level awesome. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's it's disgusting, isn't it? You get one little drop of mot motos on the side. You're cleaning that shit up for ages, and somehow it's all over your fingers and your face. I haven't even touched my face. How is it on there? It's because it strings across, and you're like, oh, for fuck's sake. I will have to pop down to your place then sometime soon and get some food then, as we'd love to try it. Maybe if I ask nicely, you'll let me take a selfie with you as well. No, no, no selfies unless five pound. <laughs> I'm joking, yeah. If I'm there, of course. If not, um, or if you know you're going to be down in the area for the day, probably the best bet is to come over to my the Jams HQ, <laughs> meet me there, take a selfie with me there, and then in the evening go across to the restaurant, the takeaway, sorry. If you want Chinese food delivered to you, just order from Parsley Box. He makes them for them. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, man, though. <laughs> But I would, I'd make them for them if they are. Uh, you know, ask me. Have you had macro know it's good for before you cooked up? Oh, we don't have a macro where we're from, so I don't know. If you if you tell me the make of the duck, I can tell you if it's good or not. Because that's what most takeaways use is the pre-cooked duck. My local restaurant, I asked for peas and onions in with my curry. The onions have a nice crunch and not any darkness where they have been fried, are they just added to the curry for a minute? Probably what they've actually done is they've deep fried them for literally 30 seconds, taking them out and put them in. Um, yeah. Have you heard of the cinnamon challenge? Why not the MSG challenge? I did the cinnamon challenge at uni and that's what about. Fucking hell, 15 years ago. And it, that was before like Facebook was really a thing, and I, I, I literally that guy. What are you talking about? This is so easy. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Yeah, it's not a good idea, is yeah. it? Macro. Yeah, macro. We don't have a macro where we are. We have bookers. We don't have the nearest macro is about two hours away. Mm. Need a wing. Okay. <laughs> Me too, actually. That must go. Confit duck is lovely, yeah. That's what aromatic Chinese roast duck is confit. Well, real Chinese roast duck. But no no takeaways gonna do it that like that. They boil it and then they deep fry it for the end. Have you seen... No, I haven't. I've never heard of that. No, Peter, as you can tell, I don't. Um, I've deliberately put weight back on so I can try a different... Um, You've deliberately put weight back on? I, was, I, I said that because I knew that would be your reaction. <laughs> no, but I, I, want, I, I want to try a different sort of um, meal prep plan next. Yeah, duck is just awesome. I, I, you can just boil duck in the steel knife. Yeah, I had I had um, my husband make duck cutlets for me the other day. Yeah. For breakfast. It's weird though. Hold I... on, hold on. Not Chinese roast duck. 
that's different. You know aromatic duck that you get in, that you put in the wraps? That's not Chinese roast duck. That's confit. And and then how they get it, how they get it um, uh, crispy on the outside is that they'll, they'll deep fry that. But originally it's confit, but now they'll just boil it and then and then deep fry it. But that's not Chinese roast duck, not the ones that you see hanging. You need a very specific oven to get that really good. <clears throat> it has to be like an oval shape so the air circulates properly. Otherwise, you end up with patches, and there's no there's no way of getting around that. In a, even if you've got a fan oven, there's no way of getting around it. Um, people here was amazing when... She, oh. You cannot i don't think what some pictures on here no you can't send pictures no yeah more like duck does it normally like smell before you cook it yeah it's quite a strong smell yeah it's a, it's a game bird so it's i it, to me it always smells a bit off yeah it just smells like butchers to me mm. Yeah, like blood, like but old blood. That's what I mean. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that sounds Ooh. nice. Ooh. Ooh, that does yes. sound nice. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound really good. I got universal roast duck. Oh, uh, right, okay. I got universal roast duck. <clears throat> Is it? The colour of the packet is red with orange on. Red with orange? Yeah. Remember, I don't remember. Oh, is that the brand? Yeah. Oh. You've run out. I did a roast goose for Christmas a few years ago. Yeah, we're thinking about getting goose this year, aren't we? Yeah, that's, a, that's the standard takeaway brand that most will use. If then if they're getting it if you've got that you've actually got what they use in a chinese takeaway if you've got my book it teaches you the three different ways that takeaways will cook it so how good takeaways would do it how middle row takeaways will use that duck and how poor takeaways will use that duck and i've done that deliberately because um yeah 4.99 that's pr pretty much what the chinese takeaways are paying for that duck the best is cherry valley though that's really expensive. Well, I say really expensive. It's about seven fifty or something like that for half a duck. A uh, whole duck, sorry. I went duck hunting yesterday. The kids weren't impressed when they had all their bread left. <laughs> Ouch. Duck <laughs> uh, noodles with thin mm. rice noodles. Is that what you're going for? Yeah. Also, the proper name for... All you, everyone says, you guys know what whole fan is. This is why I've never understood it. I'm not having a go. But whole fan is, is thick rice noodles, right? And, and you know that they're thick and they're big, and you know they're called whole fan. But <laughs> everyone calls, like, thin rice noodles, eat vermicelli, rice vermicelli. But it's actually mifen. But I can't understand why mifen hasn't stuck and whole fan has. Yeah. Weird, Do you know it? what I mean? It's because that's probably what, that's what we call them in Tesco's and stuff. Yeah, okay, let's see that. Mifen, yeah. No, the thin ones. Yeah, it's, it's a type of Mifen. Oh, that's the thin one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Get like, out. You have no idea how many times... We've heard that joke when I used to put it on the menu and say with Mifan or Hoff, no, sorry, with Hoffan. The sniggers we get every single day was just, ugh. Well, no, the worst I found, I found was when you would have the menu written in English um, and they would put the stupid Chinese accent over the top and think it was fucking hilarious. Yeah. But if there was a Chinese person out there, I doubt they would have been doing no, it. No, of course they wouldn't. Worst drinking experience of my life was when I was at uni. <clears throat> Me and my friend Craig Anderson. Um, it was our last night. Well, not our last night. Uni was ending for 
uh, the Christmas break, but we like we used to like to stay as long as we could before we had to go home. So we went to the student union, and it was the international night. So you could only go in if you were an international student. Um, so when we got to the door, I uh, Craig's um, family is South African, even though he's not, but he can do a really good South African accent. He was born in England. So he pretended to be South African. And I, of course, pretended to be German. And <laughs> we got through. We get showed our SU cards, got through, went in. Um, it turned out that we didn't have to pretend to be foreign to be <laughs> We, we basically made the perfect con, and it was pointless. And then we drank, because there was no stock left over, we drank the whole bar out of Sambuca. And you know, remember, those, you get those little plastic shot glasses. Me and Craig had three piles each that big. Um, I'm pretty sure we didn't drink all of those to ourselves. We, like, we were handing out... We were buying shots and then handing them out to people. Um, and then we just wanted to stack them up as students to see how much we've gone through. And I don't remember leaving that place. I don't remember getting home. Um, I woke up in the morning throwing up. I threw up all the way up until 9 p.m. that night. And I contemplated calling an ambulance for acute alcohol poisoning. But because I knew what it was and I wasn't having any other real severe symptoms, I just... I just dealt with it. And then, but when I woke up in the morning after my second throw up and went to the toilet for a piss, I looked around my room and I trashed my room and I broke my vintage, well, it wasn't vintage, but it was a replica um, John Lennon guitar into a thousand pieces. No idea. No, still no clue how on earth that happened. Can drink Sambuca because of it or anything like that. Really dies. Um, so what has gone? Basically, went round his friend's house when he was ten. Went to came to dinner time. His parents said, "We're getting a chinky in tonight. What do you want?" I, to, to be in all honesty, when you were ten in, in a city, that was probably quite shocking. People still use that phrase now here, so to me, it's like everyday language. Yeah, and um, Stu, uh, um, it might not be right what I'm saying. Stu said something about getting a curry the other day or something from the takeaway, but it tasted powdery. Or yeah. Something. Do you, how do you make your curries at work? We got a video of that. Or maybe maybe repeat what you asked, but it, it went it went because you were chatting shit, so I couldn't. I'm still going to ask my worst experience. I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're worse than a woman. Oh, in a, in a foreign country as well. Cool. I used to kill the chickens we ate and dispatch rabbits regularly. So, yeah. Hi, Count Dracula. Sorry if you've been in for a while. I haven't. I visited my friends up north and they yeah, I mean, it's like like anything. If it, I always say, if it's not said in venom, it's not racist. But at the same time, I think the issue a lot of people have is if someone points out that you, that that's not politically correct, your reaction should be, I didn't realise that, but I don't mean anything by it. Not wow, the PC's gone fucking wrong, blah blah blah. That you just you're just getting defensive and making yourself look like a, a twat. I don't, I don't mind people using the word chinky in terms of getting a Chinese, but it's like, appreciate that some people might not like it. You don't need to apologise for saying that. I get it. Um, yeah. What? There's so many to read. Stu. I what had Chinese that tastes overpower, overpowering powdery. It makes... I think if it's powdery, it was made from scratch, especially, especially if it was overpowering. Um, the, I think probably what they haven't done is cooked it out long enough. 
much left I said. I went to Cornwall a few year, few years back and walked into a pub with my white mates. Literally everyone in the pub turned around and stared at me for a few minutes. Yeah, I get that all the time. And I'm That's local. literally here, like now. The, the but, most surprised thing is, though, when I start talking to them and I've got some set accent, you can see their brain go, What's what? going on? But they, that happened when, in, um, that even happens in Porlock. Porlock is so, so much in their own bubble that me, Liam, and Darren went into the proper local pub in, um, in Porlock, and you've all got the farmers and the old guys, and, and we walked in, and everyone just stopped Damn. talking and stared at us. Damn. And then you walked in, and everyone left. Didn't they? I'm sure they did. yeah. But it's like even when if I go somewhere, they're like, and you they don't recognise you. They're like, mm, don't like this. <laughs> Can't take it anywhere. <laughs> But it's weird, it's like, you wouldn't do any other accent, but it's acceptable to do Chinese accents and stuff, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's the thing, though. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't mock any other you wouldn't culture. You wouldn't do, like, a Nigerian accent, would you? No. Or you wouldn't, like, do, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, like, like, it's, people often quite happily do that and know that people are around them. And it's just like, well, it's, it's just, it's just one of those things. That it's not it's not just it's not just Chinese people, it's just oriental looking people in general. Fuck's sake, yeah. man though. <laughs> Are you reading it? That's man though. I walked into the bank the other day and everyone stopped doing what they were doing. So I had a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, precisely. If well. if it's, it's it's the malice that makes it hurt. Otherwise, I'll, I'll quite happily not even even if they do say something that does offend me, I won't tell them it's offended me because I know it wasn't meant like that. And me telling them is just my way of alleviating myself and then putting someone else through something they don't have to go through. Did you read that one of Stu's one? No. Top one, it's near the top. What? But what would have been the out, why, why? Yeah, why? <laughs> See, it's funny, like, you say many of our accents get not French show. Like, here, it just seems people, I don't know, I don't know what it is. It's, it's a very like acceptable to take this out of Chinese, but not anything else. Yeah, exactly. Or does he speak of a type? I mean, yeah, okay, so like, chances are he might not have been born here. But at the same time, it's just, they don't mean anything by it. But then I guess like my mum used to look after. Um, she was, I think, probably about ninety-eight when she was looking after her, and um, she'd be pushing her down through town. And you know, she would be like, "Oh, it's disgusting that we have black people in in town." And my mum would be like, "You cannot say that." And she goes, "It's just wrong." And it's like, but from the time that she was born and brought up, that was okay to say. So are you defending that? No, but it's just mad that they're still living in the, well, she's dead now, but they've progressed through time, but their mind still stays the same. And I can't understand why. Like. It's just they don't want to change. It's unbelievable. No way am I defending it. Normally, when you get someone like that, though, they're like, say they're, oh, I hate Chinese, blah, 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 blah. But they have a Chinese friend, they're going, oh, yeah, they're all right, though. I no. know them. Why is that okay? <laughs> I 
You had to, you had to, I had to ask a few doors down to call my folks. Yeah, what's that like? I don't know. I'm probably talking to someone else. Maybe. I used to have a lot of fights when I was in my early 20s when I used to go clubbing and drinking in pubs. Same with you, wasn't it? Yeah. Enough it's a shame it was, from it. it was the only kind of way to make people stop. <laughs> yeah, my knuckles are scarred from it. <gasps> oh my god. What? Monday. That's awful. I just, I've never been able to get my head around why people are so offended by a different colour. Like, why is that so offensive to you? Yeah. Well, literally, white people literally go out of their way to get a tan and be darker skinned. So why for someone who's naturally like that is it so gross? I just... People are, some people are just fucking their head out there. Wait, where were you kicked out from? Am I, I've missed something. Huh? If you're a good person and a good personality, I will listen. And I'm one of them. If I don't agree with a person, we will agree to disagree by a spectrum. I don't think it's jealousy, I think it's fear. They don't understand, and therefore it scares them. Yeah, maybe. You were kicked out of a friend's house because they found out you had black friends. Fuck me. I mean, I don't know anyone who's, who's like that, but I know people are like that. and it's just... Yeah, I don't know anyone who's like that. But I mean, I, wouldn't know I probably wouldn't because like I, I'm, I'm not white, so I'm not exactly going to hang out with those kind of people, they wouldn't hang out with me, would they, really? No. But you just, you wouldn't want to know anyone like that, even if it was, even if it was a family member, I wouldn't want to know them. Yeah. I don't care if you're my brother or my sister or anything like that. If you think like that, you can go fuck yourself. Yeah, still, apartheid time, it's still crazy, though. Yeah. So was your dad the one who said you can go see your friends, or was it your friend's household that said you had to go home? Yeah, I mean, like obviously you guys do, otherwise you wouldn't be here, to be honest, would you? You wouldn't be talking to me if you had an issue with it. <laughs> <coughs> Friends house kicked me out. Right, okay. Right, okay. Fuck. I okay. Just as long as we aren't stupid, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I deal with that every weekend. The amount of people I throw out of a bar club door. Oh, so your dad was the worldly one. I get it now. When you, when you mentioned the... X forces, I get it. Right. So you would have served alongside of all nationalities, colours, creeds. Yeah, I get that. If we took all head of songs, the world would be great. <laughs> this is the way. I am an asshole there, so I'm not, not going to hide that fact. Oh, giant right, okay, I see what you mean. Right. I've got, like, literally a handful of skinhead friends, and um, they've got the shaved head, they wear the Doc Martens, and it really irritates them. They're all white guys. But he goes, skinhead culture actually originated from ska music, black culture, where they would want to dress up 
and wear the Ben Sherman shirts. And then it was adopted by the skinheads that everyone knows later on in like the late eighties, early nineties. He goes, what the noise him is that his culture, like his skinhead culture, they listen to reggae, ska, two tone. It's all about like black origin music. And, and you know what, looking at them, when I first met them, I was like, they're going to try and, they're going to try and punch me up. I just came over, started talking, blah, blah, blah. And then I just got in knowing them. And they're like, yeah, it's a common misconception, like like a, a, a true they're authentic. Just super chill, aren't they? Yeah. Like a true authentic skinhead is about loving that sort of music. Like they, they love Northern Soul. They love Motown, well, not Motown, but like that kind of sort of ilk stuff. I guess it's a little bit like extremists, extremists and religion. They they go mega one way, and then everyone else in that religion is then tarnished with that particular like mindset. Who dies one? Yeah. Yeah, of course. We were never. There was no Asian. Uh, uh, but if you were, if you were Asian, you were always a bad guy. Oriental Asian, always a bad guy. And uh, that just isn't working out for one man. <laughs> and there was a, there was a. I, just, I know this is completely off, off topic now. Well, it's not. But um, what makes me laugh though is that that a lot of these mega skinheads they have like Norse symbols across their chests and stuff like that. But it's come out recently that they've done. DNA studies on actual Vikings, and they said they were a mix between Scandinavians and Asians. So, like, and when they say Asians, as in Oriental and Middle Eastern Asians, because they traded, Scandinavia traded with them a lot, and then they became sort of pirates, and then they, they interbred. So, Vikings as we see them with blonde hair, blue eyes, were actually dark haired, brown eyes. <laughs> And probably looked like me, like a mix. In fact, Lydia's um, Scandinavian great grandmum, great great grandmum, there's a photo of her. And I said to her about when we saw, saw it about three years ago, didn't we? I went, Was your grandmum like Asian, like Chinese? She goes, no. I said, look at look at her. And you uh, just look. And she went, oh my God, yeah. She looks, she looks age like oriental, Funny. doesn't she? So I think maybe it's a, a new thing that, that those genes have actually sort of been lost a little bit. Um, but yeah, she looked fully, didn't she? Dark yeah. hair and everything. Yeah. I haven't done a DNA 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 test. Hi, no. car. Yeah, maybe. I don't think so though. Um, because my Taylor family can trace the lineage back to 1108 in Watcher. I still can't believe that. It's mental. Yeah. There could have been there, wasn't there, wasn't it? They found coins in Scandinavia from Watcher. That's disgusting, guys. Sorry about that. No, they found Watcher coins in Norway because the Vikings had raided and taken it back. There was a thing like we noticed it, like in Tesco's and just walking around, like the sort of make way for you just because you resembled something that was Chinese. And it's just because you're Chinese doesn't mean you're all carrying the fucking virus, you idiots. And it's normally the kind of people who don't want to wear a fucking mask as well. 
Oh, Russian Jewish. Wow. I'd love to go to Russia. Apparently it's not the place to go. Not very friendly, which is a shame because it looks nice. Kind of the question. But the waving gold white cats in Chinese takeaways, is there a story behind that? What's the story behind those weird bloody waving cat things? <laughs> I think Japanese culture have them as well, but I'm not 100% sure. They're, um, the cats are there to welcome in money. So they're, at, they're waving. To, that's why they're gold. Normally you can get white ones, but they're, they're normally gold. And what they're doing is they're waving because they're waving in prosperity. Cats are considered very uh, are lucky in Chinese. Yes, yeah, so that's it. Like, there's probably less Chinese people carrying carrying COVID now than there were what, like when that whole thing came out when everyone was like, oh, where it supposedly originated from. Oh, they don't have any cases there now. Why? Why is that? They've set it up. Blah blah blah. Yeah, but if it starts there, it'll finish there first. Yeah. So use your fucking brain. It's not some sort of game they're playing. Yeah. Need to find some beer. Good luck. See you in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> this is the way. I'm well, good to hear um, son is strong. With a dad like you, I'm sure he's very, very strong. Yeah, he was. I think he was stuck in a cave trying to find treasure or something like that. But yeah, that's the, that is the story. I'm not 100 percent sure on the actual story, but yeah, that's the gist of it. Oh, I'm, Chef Doyle, you wanted to know the origins of the moon cave. Um, where they come from is. In Chinese culture, for as long as pretty much anyone can remember, the end of the harvest was always the 15th of August in the Chinese calendar, which is different every year. But they, they class that as the end of good crops. So to celebrate that, they used to make mooncakes, which are made out of lotus seeds, and you've got the salted yolk in the middle, and the outside pastry is just um, this flour and something else, but I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. And um, yeah, so back in the day when China was invaded by the Mongols or Mongolians, however you want to say it, um, they were restricted to every Chinese household, was no longer allowed to talk Chinese. They could not participate in any Chinese culture. The one thing they could do every year was the end of the harvest um, festival. Uh, also, to make in, police this, every Chinese household would have to have one Mongolian member living in it to make sure that they didn't break any of the rules. If they did, the entire family was slaughtered. Now, there was this one time, I don't know the year, all the Chinese people left, well, one, one person, probably the head of the family, or the eldest son, would go to the, the shop and buy... The moon cakes to celebrate the festival upon returning home obviously the mongolians didn't um, participate in this festival because it wasn't theirs they'd cut the moon cake open and on that day every single chinese household in the country opened up their moon cake and it had a note saying today on the 15th on the moon festival we rise and we take china back and that's what they did. And that's why it's still so heavily celebrated today, because it it celebrates the way that they were, <laughs> basically just how good at ta good tacticians they were, because they knew there was only one Mongol per house. And they had spread themselves so thin that all they had to do was kill the person in the house and then take the cities back. And because they were so spreadly thin, it was very easy to do. And that's why China overthrew the Mongolian reign that was there. Um, but that's why we still have, well, that's why the, the Mooncake Festival in, in China, I know Vietnam celebrates it as well, um, but in China, and to Chinese people, um, that is why we celebrate it so, 
so what's the word um not religiously but we never forget it you know we never we never let mooncake festival go by and i feel it feels really weird because when the delivery drivers come we get that's oh, a single one that's better i prefer the single ones why so you can have that side yeah yeah <laughs> and um the 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 um the yoke in it is to represent the harvest moon by the way and no i'm okay for the moment but <laughs> but uh yeah, that's why when the delivery drivers they 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 say can we um can we well they, the companies give us the mooncakes at festivals to make sure that we have them but they literally just give them they they the packets are worth um, wholesale seventeen fifty each so that if you go to the shop you're paying twenty two quid for a box of four they just give them to us because we're Chinese to like don't forget to celebrate but the delivery drivers don't know this story. And sometimes they'll forget, and you're like, don't forget the mooncake, don't forget the mooncake. And it just makes me look like I'm a fatty trying to make sure I get my free mooncake. <laughs> we know you don't like it, noodles. It's a cool story, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I didn't just make that up, Larissa. <laughs> I wish I did, because I'd be a very, very good storyteller. <laughs> My knowledge isn't that good. It's just uh, it's just something that all Chinese people know. Don't they do them in small versions? Then that? Yeah, they do. Yeah, mm. yeah. But traditionally, they're big. Do they do them big? No, that's the biggest you can get. I'm sure that someone does, but I mean, I've never seen them bigger than that. Mm. It's it's so weird. They're really odd. I don't I don't quite understand them. What mooncake? Yeah. They acquired taste. You either love them or you hate them. I don't understand this. That's lotus seed. Look, I know, but why is there so much of it? It's like... I know, it's my favourite bit of it. It's the texture in the mouth that I like the most. Oh, there's so many Chinese stories. It, it's all to do with war. <laughs> but there are so many Chinese stories, and they're all just brilliant. And you, I could just listen to them all day long. It's hard to find. I got Wicked Jay Buddha. I've got a Jay Buddha as well. I've got one that was given to me when I was a child. Num, num, num. Uh, what is in it? About, well, the... I don't know if you've seen the photo on Facebook. That clear-looking stuff is um, lotus seed paste. Oh, there is two egg yolks in it. And the yellow thing is salted egg yolk. That that bit is grim. <laughs> I don't enjoy the... Um... It's, it's just... Yeah, the sofa's massive, yeah. We had to get a sofa big enough. So, like, for tonight, example, I'm really have to sleep on it because I'm going to snore because of how much I've drank. I think since we have the sofa, you haven't stayed in bed? No, because Stargate Atlantis is real right now and I'm drinking too much, so I will snore. Yeah. Go on, poor man. But it's weird. I keep waking up at 7 o'clock every morning on the dot and you're not there. And then I go back to sleep. <laughs> no, I think, oh, that's all right. <laughs> It did worry me the first night, so I was like, fuck, it's seven o'clock. What's happening? I didn't come to check for you, though. The night, Dom! The night, Dom! See you next week. I'm on, yeah, see you next week, Dom. I'm on the, the fence of I can't stand solid egg yolks, but I only like egg yolks when they're runny. The texture of them, when they're not, makes me feel strange. Mm. Um, I wonder, I did your salt and pepper chicken and it was amazing. Had, had one from a Chinese takeaway and made me feel sick. Also did a corn salad. 
It's a cool song. I don't know what they're called, saunas. Ooh. But um, I'm, take, I'm taking that you're a vegetarian. Why? Die? Why? Why? <laughs> but you should know if you've been stroking him outside for long enough, he doesn't have any balls. Oh yeah, he got taken off because he was a little tomcat he was and now he's not. He's very unhappy about his ball balls going. Apparently though, you shouldn't um, neuter male cats. Bet says it doesn't do anything to help population growth. It's detrimental to the male cats and can even cause them to live a lot less because they're more susceptible to um, diseases like heart disease and stuff like that. And I don't know why that is. I think it's got something to do with the fact that their body starts producing fat different, um, starts meta metabolizing fat differently. Um, but again, I haven't I haven't researched that. I haven't gone into journals. That's just something I've read from a uh, a veterinary website. So it could be all bullshit. Yeah, just wondering why it made me feel bad. To get FAC, you need like reason for it. You might have reason for it. Like if you if you're a gamekeeper, you can get FAC. I can't get FAC because I don't go shooting. I'm not a member to a gun club, and I think you have to be um, a, a member to a gun club and have been at least a couple of times. If you've got plenty of the land in the UK, then it's not an issue. That's one thing that makes me want to buy a farm, is that I can get an FAC then. And then I can actually just shoot targets from a mile away on my own land. Yes, I'll have at least a mile of land. Can you skip this song? It's so out of time, it's making my head feel weird. Just wondering why it made me feel bad. Maybe, I don't know, did you eat anything else? Or maybe you were just having a bad tummy day. What? The um, top of chicken. From your takeaway? Mm. Greasy. They probably they used old oil, which makes, if, if I go to a Chinese takeaway and they've used old, old oil, my stomach goes... Like if they have, if it's not clean oil, so they've used it for like three days, and it's dark, and they've they've cooked the, the chicken off in it, my stomach goes in look within like two or three hours, and I know that I'll I'll get like a weird sick feeling here, then, like re I'll feel really sick, but not like I want to throw up sick. It's just a sick feeling. Then what it will do, it will pass down to my gut really quickly, and then it's bum weed. Unfortunately, not. No, yeah. I mean, I th part of the reason people get their, their cats neutered is to stop population growth, and the best way to do that is, unfortunately, from the girls' side of um, point of view. And, it, and apparently, there are no real detrimental effects to the, the girl. I think it might even make them live longer. But that's just that's not it's not my fault. I, I'm not throwing that out there. I didn't make that up. So. I was talking about for some reason, I don't remember. Yeah, I literally spent my time researching stuff that it, most people never, ever want to research. I don't know why, but I just like information. I'm constantly, ever since Facebook as well, I started putting videos up on things, and, the, and I see, like, idiot posts. It's made it worse because I see someone put something up and then I have to go check to see if it's correct. But I won't just check, I'll fact check and then I'll go through and see if there's any research on it because it's really irritating when people just read something and go, well, that must be true. Which is why, which is why I said about the cat thing, I didn't check that. I just read it on a veterinary site, um, a UK one. But, you know... They could just be saying that 
Yeah. But also, it does mean they might take a bit of a hit to their um, Hi, Ellen. bottom line. So people aren't doing that anymore. So it's, it's like, it, it, it could be credible because they probably are taking a hit to them, to their revenue. Um, I haven't been here for ages. I love the sofa. Oh, we just got it four days ago. We ordered it about three weeks ago. Hey, one me is back. We ordered it about three weeks ago. Oh, uh, three months ago, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, I said I said they were back. Because they went off to test off their, their test their mattress and they came back and said it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did they? Yeah. No, we can't because I love guns as well, handguns. But, I mean, for good reason. It is good reason. And when people say it's not, it's just like it is for good reason. Let's, let's be honest. Kids don't die in schools. Night die! I know that whole... Look, did I... I think you... There's one of my vlogs where I catch a lady telling an, a guy, saying you shouldn't be wearing a mask, it's not good for your health. And then I just started ranting about what she'd said. And she must have heard it. Yeah, she must have. But she didn't say anything. Because I put that, well, what does a surgeon do when he's in a 13-hour operation? Yeah, Pass you've out. no argument, have you? No, it's fucking ridiculous. Get a grip. Dice off now. Take care, Dice. See you in about 10, 15 after you brush your yeah, teeth. See, see you later, Dice. Night, night. Um, yeah, it's just fucking ridiculous. You're lucky, I say. Also, it's culture, though. A lot of it is culture. Um... Getting myself a spade was the best thing I ever did. Fair pledge. <laughs> That's cats, though. I was talking about not humans, cats. I wish it was that easy for humans. It would make my life a lot easier. No, you're not allowed. You're too young. I'll be 35 this year, so I'll be able to ask about it properly. No, for myself. Oh. Uh, I don't buy that school shooting thing. People can get firearms now. We don't see it. I'm not going to have this conversation because that's the statistics scream otherwise. Like that is you, you're doing that COVID thing where I, I don't believe it because I don't want to. I don't buy it because of this and that. What? Well, every country's ban them hasn't had a major shooting ever since, have they? That is just that is utter utter ridiculousness. I love guns. I have literally about 30 air rifles. Um, yeah, but it was in our co it happened in our it happened in, in the UK and that's why we stopped the guns. Because it's it, you're right, it is culture. But until we turn around and realise that it's culture, people aren't ever gonna want to change. You told we told people they had to wear masks. How many people went, I'm not fucking wearing a mask, and then you want to tell them to change th their whole mindset. It's never gonna work. So you have to ban the fucking guns. Until we grow up as a society, it's it's that simple. Well, I'm not talking about it anymore because it gets me it gets me frustrated. Yeah, you can you can sort gun problems with more guns. It's just <laughs> and yeah, people. Are... Yeah, exactly. People do ruin it, and it's exactly it's very the few. <laughs> but that's what I was. You probably missed the thing I was saying earlier. It's the few that tarnish it for the most. And unfortunately, you have to live as as slow as the slowest members of society in terms of what we're talking about now. I, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, when I get more time, I'm going to sign up to a, um, a range because I like range shooting and I like target shooting so how, I can get guns. How was that allowed, Stardust? And how long ago was that, if you don't mind me asking? Medical, probably. Yeah, but mine would be medical. No, if it's not life-threatening. What was it you had? Endometriosis. So that's more than enough reason to have it done. No, that's, that's what your mum had, wasn't it? Endometriosis, which you think you might have because you've had the same symptoms. Oh, I went too quick, I didn't see it. Um... <laughs> That is awesome. What? Marco target shoots for Cornwall. My um, my mate used to target shoot for Somerset, 
I'm doing that thing where you shoot so you might know them, but I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'd love to, I'd just, I'd love, there's something so, you, there's like a moment of clarity when you're shooting that you don't get when you're doing anything else. You do not think about anything other than what's in front of you, what your body is doing, and how much you have to concentrate on just the movement of your finger. It's just, oh, I, I love it. I love, I love everything about it. You fucking creep. You know, Chef, I know you don't. Are, are you my, well, I'd be your clone because I'm younger. Am I your clone? <laughs> Because um, not everyone can buy them. Supply and demand, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. I wonder if that place in Watch is still going. The gun shop. I hope so. They were really good. They had a AR-15 and a 2.2 caliber, which was semi-automatic. I said, "What license would you, I need to get that?" And they, he just went, "I'll be honest. Unless your X-forces, are probably chances you're not going to get it." Oh. No, I meant if I like shooting and stalking. <laughs> Creep. So I'm guessing you don't actually like shooting. Shame. Go to bed, die. <laughs> yeah, I did say see you in 10 minutes. Two minutes later, yeah. that was bad. Nice. I like 308 standard hunting rifle though, isn't it? Have a look on your Instagram. Which one? I'm guessing chin. <laughs> no, no. Stop being a creep then. <laughs> I can't see it, Sam. It says um, hidden because your account is private. That's exactly what... Mm. Except I would, but the whole fear of getting pregnant for me was the reason I wanted to get it done. That's exactly what I'm like. Maybe I should go back to the doctor soon. Yeah, but that, I mean, you do you do that thing where you don't. Um, is um, you don't like to talk about things, so you probably didn't articulate it well enough to the person. No, when to... I'm there, I do. Oh, okay. I mean, the, the build up to talking about it, I don't like. But when I'm there, I'm not going to waste their time. So I'm going to talk about it. Wow, okay. You called me a creep. I haven't been called that in 24 hours. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so much. PPQ 9 mil. I have no idea what PPQ is. Throughout is overrated. Now I've got really head songs in my head. Throughout in UK is utter bollocks. You have a tiny game. Well, I mean, most people have 308 to shoot deer. Not, not grouse or pheasants. They use shotguns, don't you know? <laughs> Tally ho! Tally ho! It's literally just people around here, isn't it? Yeah. Like... Lots of three hundred eight rounds in in the Somerset area. It's probably more of a um. I have a three. I can have a three hundred eight, so I'm gonna have, buy a three hundred eight kind of thing. RSA. Oh. No, he's in South Africa. Yeah, I have since you they just showed me the photo of them, they're massive. Oh what, those weird things? Yeah. But just because it's like anything, isn't it? I don't need a car with four hundred brake horsepower where I can only go sixty mile an hour, but I do. Yeah, it's 
I know, I know guys with short hair will never get this feeling, but when you take your hair out, it's one of the best feelings in the world. Oh, oh hey. Yeah. Is that all, oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Is that all? Oh. Hey. Is that all? Oh. Let's see this one. Uh, yeah, no, that makes sense. Stardust. Hey, Rocks, nice to have you in. Maybe it's something to review once people stop getting COVID when doctor surgeries are safe again. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Dave. Sorry, yeah, you had to go for that. What? He means small, like wild ball, I think. Yeah. Or he means small ball rifles. It's, it's hard to tell sometimes. Mm. Yeah, we're both well, thank you. Oh, hello. Thank you for sharing that there, Stardust. I was literally about to say, is that 50 cal? But then I've just seen underneath you just hashtag 50 cal. Is that you? I've searched this. I've actually searched this. Is this in Exeter? Yeah, it is. And it's in Exeter, yeah? I've actually... Fucking hell. What when he shoots? Where are you to playing? <sighs> Jesus Christ. That fucking shockwave! Fuck. I'm gonna see someone else. Yeah, someone said. <laughs> we watched um, Sam shoot a 50 cal rifle and the when he, when it fires, the amount of or well, the shockwave sends dust flying everywhere. Pardon me, I've seen fifty cal shot loads on YouTube, but I've never seen it do that before. I'm guessing it's just because it's an enclosed area. Normally, when they shoot them, they're outside. Yeah, like, if you don't mind, I'll show it. Hold on. It's a bit of a... Can I see it? Just watch the kick up from that. I don't think you're going to see it very well. Have you eaten at the hairy dog minehead? Of course, no. I've never eaten. Oh yeah, I have eaten the hairy dog. Hairy dog's more of a place to go and drink. Um... Night, Stardust. Take care. Stardust is leaving. Oh, take care, Stardust. Have a good night. Take care. Yeah. I've eaten in Harry Dog and it was not very nice. 
put things in that was cute as well. Did the air defenders work? Because I'm pretty sure that would have been loud as fuck. Some poor bus got his head blown off. I think I've just read that in the left, was it? 50 cow and... Uh, some vents. I'm not surprised. Did you shoot all those rounds? I think there was five left. Yeah, uh, don't get me wrong, when I used to fire two twos, I could definitely tell the difference between having ear defenders on and ear defenders off. But when I went to Thailand and I was shooting like nine mils and I shot a 50 Magnum, the, uh, they were basically pointless. No, no, well, me. But the clap is just so loud. Good luck, second time round. <laughs> Take care one me. Have a good night's sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're probably gonna have to go to well, we will have to go to the unit tomorrow, won't we? I was in Thailand, so probably they were were the best air defenders, mate. I'll be honest. No. What we're gonna do tomorrow? Go to the um unit? Yeah, warehouse. Yeah. We'll call it Jan's HQ from now on, I like that. HQ, we're gonna go HQ. We're gonna go to shit you. Well, you can go there, I'm gonna go HQ. Mm -hmm. Same place, shit you. You're shit you. Your face is shit, I hate you. Well, you really. Sometimes. Jim Edwin Sasakan on YouTube. Edward, I recognise that name. Oh, God, Guru. <laughs> I am terrible with names. I really like Teflada Mouse. Um, there's a guy... I, I don't know the guy's name, but I do know his mate's name, Jasper. Night, Vitamin B. Who is, who's his, um, his Mexican mate. I watch him a lot. I watch Demolition Ranch. Um... Uh, my mate's dad used to shoot for the Olympics. What's that say I was meant to use? That's cool. Hey, Henry, how's it going? Well, Lydia's just about to leave. The sweets are from Can... No more. I'm not, I was going to show them the box. From Candy Jacks. I did a, a vlog on them. I, I They didn't give these to me. Um... They, they won't, but a couple of people have bought this exact thing from them, from my videos, so if you guys ever do, and you can leave a note, just say I saw you on my channel, and maybe one day, just as a fact, they might send me one for free. I doubt it, but it'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be nice, <laughs> but I doubt it. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you slacked off the price of it for the shitness of it. Oof. Hello again, days. Drinking. You told me reloading was a bunch of shit last week. And I said I just wanted oh, I'd love to do it, just as just a lethargic thing. And you're just like, nah, it's bullshit. What? About re making and reloading rounds. What's that? It's when you like put a new percussion cap in and then so the new fuse basically. Yeah. Put your own powder in and then put your own round into the top. So you have your bullet. Oh, okay. So you make your own ammo, really. Ah. I am drinking gin and Fanta. No, no Christmas tree yet. I wish. I don't know if we'll have a Christmas tree this year. Too much hassle. I love shotguns. Night Vit Movie. Thank you, Night Vit Movie. Night Vit Movie. Yeah, I know. I know I'd, I'd never be able to do it. It's just something I would love to do. IENC, we're just talking about guns because 
a lot of us on here like guns and we're just saying how much we would really enjoy it if there were um if we would if we could just go shoot and stuff like that and that's about it really we're just talking about guns at the moment normally what happens here ian is we talk and then it just descends into just talking about absolute cod shy <laughs> I don't know who Ben Sharpo and Piers is. Yeah, we were talking, though, me and Lydia were talking about that the other day. We went into Tesco's and we're like, wait a minute. So I can pay £2.50 for this, but if I've got a club card, it's £1.50. But I kind of get the feeling they might have raised the prices so yeah. that the club card people now pay less. Probably. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Just checking the dice gone to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Has he gone yet? Can you get the window? Can you close the window? No, but I'll keep it open. Will you actually close it then? That's the thing. I'm probably going to sleep here, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's sad. Oh, yeah. Night, Bob! Night, Bob, take care. Oh, what? Why did you do that, Count? What? Why? Drunk, you look. You've, we, we've just found out that we can watch it. Well, we can watch some of them, at least. We're going to watch it anyway. Not impressed. <laughs> Can you get a point seven, one seven round? It uh, looks no, good. But no, I don't want to watch it. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough gun talk for me. I'm going to pop off on that note. I'm not you. No, no, everybody. Uh, I shall see you in the morning. See you as you look forward to it. I love you. What's really sad? Oh, it's why? No, it's really sad. It's three nights now. Oh. I wish your snoring stuff would get here. Yeah. I've ordered, like, literally six or seven different anti-snoring things. Um, because I snore really badly, and I, I kind of wanted to do a, a, just a video as a daily vlog uh, reviewing them. I ordered them two weeks ago, and not once turned up. I think I've been mugged off. I don't think they exist. Email them. I don't know which email address. I've got like 20 email addresses. I don't know which one's on. And yes, Dave, you did scare me, so I must leave now. <laughs> do, do, have you eaten those croutons yet? <laughs> Ricardo said night. No, night, Ryan. What? Yes, open them now. They're delicious. They'll be the best things you've ever tried. But don't eat them too vigorously because you will you lose your teeth. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't shoot anything living, but if I was going to shoot a, a, a rat, I'd, I'd, a don't rat? Need, I'd don't need anything more than an air rifle to deal with that. And, and a rabbit. I didn't realise they existed. Seven, seven round. That must be looked so weird. Is it a rimfire? It must be. I want to know what he thinks about the uh, croutons. Yeah, I want to know what he thinks about croutons. It is... Lydia's waiting to hear your view on the croutons. Yeah. You can if you've got an FAC, and I think there's some some stipulations to it. Look at you, this smallness. Look at you. Small, small little man. There's room for it. Right. Oh, he likes them. <laughs> 
They're good, aren't they? They, they? They're literally exactly as they say. They're, the, they're so garlicky and herby. They're incredible, aren't they? I We've literally got five packs in the house at a time. Yep. Jim looks like a garden man sat on the Yes. You swore little no. Ow. No, don't, don't, don't raise your toddler hands. What are you talking about? These big hands. <laughs> I barely do you over the crunching. I know, they're so good. Even when you put them in soup, they're like still rock hard. Yeah. Right. Night night. Night night, Babas. He, he loves them. He said they're amazing. Delish. <coughs> I'm gonna have to turn this this one off now because I know you won't do it. What is the time? One o'clock. Two One o'clock. I'll turn that off now. Oh, Polly. Bit of lasagna there. Love you. Love you too. Yeah, what did they change? Is it the 30th of, or 31st of October? Or 28th? For some reason I've got 28 in my head. Huh. Oh, I just my whiskey. Twenty-fifth, that's it, twenty-fifth. Do you change your clocks over there? Because I know not every country does it, do they? Yeah. So then we'll start. They go back. But well, every time someone donates a fiver or more to a live stream, I do a shot of whiskey. So the whiskey is underneath the table here. Don't worry, the the cork was still in it. So that's why that's there. That's terrible, Daisy. Daisy, I thought you went. You're telling us to Chef Die now. So you're going to... Or maybe you didn't. Maybe I'm thinking of last week. Maybe. I see what you did there. Clever. You tricked me into thinking that this was last week. Yeah, look, I know Brunei doesn't do it. Where my mum's from. And Malaysia doesn't do it. And you're just not sure where 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 it stops and where it starts. No, I can't do anything that tastes like aniseed. It makes me urge. I can't even have a licorice all sort. Thank you, Sambuca and Perno as well. There was, I remember about 10 years ago, there was talk about them that summer not bothering to do the change back and would always just run on British summertime, but then nothing came of it. Jesus, Guzo is this, this, ugh. Craft beer pause. Nice to have you in. Don't think I've ever seen that name here before, so if you're new, welcome. It's not normally just me. My lovely fiance Lydia has gone to bed. Normally we stay up and talk, but she always goes to bed before me, and I stay up and get more drunk. Didn't realise it was about the war. I just assumed that we've always done it. Do you think wham bars could dissolve in gin? 
I think if I put them in my commercial blender, they would. You, sir, have just invented a new drink. War gin. Are you too? I knew, I know it's about I know it's about farming. I didn't realise it is a new thing. Um, well, it's a relatively new thing in terms of farming. How long have you been out in um, South Africa for? Wow, that's interesting. I know it was due to the need of farming, I just didn't realise it was due to World War II. I just assumed it was always what we've done because the farming season needed to be done. Because you know what? You know how the UK is in the winter. is fucking awful and summer's brilliant. Have you had De Serrano? Yeah. I love De Serrano and Dr Pepper. It's fantastic. Do you have... Do you have uh, so, how did you grow up in both? Oh, because you were an army kid. I'm assuming military. So your dad would move around, and you move around with your dad. So I'm guessing you got a mix match of ac accents then. Mix match, mix match of accents. Right, dig for victory. I get it. I get you. No, our closest Aldi is about 40 minutes away. Right, okay. It's a remnant of a, of a time, of wartime. That's cool. That's actually quite cool. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Like, uh, right now when I talk, I'm talking to you guys, I talk like this. There might be a, 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 a Somerset twang, but when I talk to Somerset people... I go proper Somerset. Like, I all of a sudden will start talking like this, and I'm so you want a cider? Yeah, you want a cider? Yeah, 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 yeah. You just all of a sudden just sound like the, um, that guy from Vicar of Dibley who, um, he goes, you know. And then when I'm, when I'm talking to Malay Chinese people, I tend to go into that accent as well, and I can't stop myself from doing it. But those are the only two that I float through. Well, I'll, I'll have, next time I'm that way, I will check them out, but it's a bit far, like, I say 40 minutes, and I do go there that way often, but because it's in a town, it takes me 20 minutes extra to go to that place, and my time's quite limited. Will do. Take care, Sam. Thanks for dropping by. Bloody daddy long legs. What's on? Yeah, we say what's on. Her, what's on? Mock her. Oh, no, uh, I, I, can, I can speak English fluently, Mandarin. I can speak so the other person doesn't realise I can't speak, like fluently. Um, Haga is the same, but I understand more Haga, which Haga is a dialect of Chinese. Cantonese, I can understand, but I can't speak because it sounds exactly like Mandarin to me, except the two refuse, two speakers refuse to believe they sound the same. Um, broken Malay. Um, very, a, a very small amount of Polish, a very, very small amount of Thai. But when I'm really drunk, I say I'm really good at it, even though I'm not that good at it. <laughs> um, and 
obviously German and French from school. That's mental that someone you're related to lived in Portland for a bit. Right, I'm just going for a piss. We'll be back in a minute. Mum, on the other hand, sorry, I'll, I'll get round to Mum, on the other hand, she can speak fluent English, obviously, fluent Malay, fluent um, Mandarin, fluent Haga, and fluent Cantonese. And weirdly, she can understand and speak a lot of Spanish, but refuses to admit that she can. <laughs> That's a hell of a resume there. In terms of um, what speaking and what you can speak. There was a study the other day as well. Apparently, people who are um, bi or multilingual view time in a different way. But their actual perception of time is different. I mean, I say I'm fluent, oh, I am, I'm am basically fluent, but I'm not. Like, mum's English is not like my Chinese in, in comparison. It's difficult to explain because there'll just be some phrases I just don't understand. Like, um, they'll say something, but then sometimes it's accent because mum's from. Uh, Brunei so her accent is actually different from someone who speaks Mandarin from how she grew up speaking it and someone who speaks Mandarin from mainland China and because it's, it's Chinese is so tonal sometimes they'll say something and I cannot grasp what they're saying and then mum will say it in Mandarin how she says it and I instantly understand what they said like I, like I heard it then that's right okay I get that Sorry, she'll say it in English what they said, and then I can hear what they said. My sister is better than me at Chinese, though. Do any of you guys ever watch, I'm going to throw this out there and I doubt any of you do, so if it's a boring subject we won't talk about any sort of like, um, like cartoons I'd call them, like Dragon Ball or anything like that. I don't really watch them, I literally just watch Dragon Ball and something called One Punch Man and I think it's incredible. Yeah, people say Nami, but like I don't call it a Nami because I just can't get my head around 
to me, they're just cartoons. Uh, yeah, I can say something Chinese now. I don't really like to say stuff in Chinese. Oh, you made me all giggly. No, I just, I don't. I can't speak Chinese to people unless I'm really drunk that can't speak it. It's a bit like um, when, when you say to someone, oh, I've got this like belt or I'm this proficiency in something, and they go, oh, show me. I'm like, no, I can't show you now because it just feels weird. So not, not many people do. I, I only watch a few. Um, uh, Anami, yeah, I'll just say Anami. Akira was awesome. Well, I don't really remember it, though. I remember watching it as a kid, but I've never watched it as an adult back, so I can't really say if it was good now. But I remember it being brilliant. Oh, what else did I watch as a kid? Gundam. I watched Gundam. Yeah, Simpsons. I love Simpsons. I, I, I watched Ghost in the Shell, and I quite like the movie as well. I've never heard of Ustarokiski or Duji. Sorry, Di, if I butchered that. Actually, do you know what? There's a language that I've never even entertained learning or even had a necessity for is Japanese. I can say Konnichiwa, Ich ni san, su. I might make the number four up. Because su is also four in in Mandarin, so I'm pretty sure I've just made number four up, and that's all I can say. Generation One Transformers was awesome. Take care. Nice to have you in, Marco. Never seen Apple Seed. I've never seen the Batman animated series. I have when I was a kid. Like, are you talking about the, not like the OG one, but like the one that was around in, I'd say, uh, early 90s? Then yes, I've seen that one. But Dave I earlier said, um, One Punch is fantastic. I've never laughed out loud in a like an animated series like that. It was just brilliant. Is it? Oh, I'll check that out. War on Cybertron. Oh, you don't like One Punch? I thought it was fucking brilliant. It's deliberate. What they Shonen Jump did was deliberately take the piss out of all the others they've done before, like the Turo and Dragon Ball, where the characters have to really train really hard to achieve certain levels. And they literally said, we wanted to write an animated series that took the piss out of that. So One Punch is a joke on their style of anime. It's literally like a, um, a satire, really. That's the beauty of it. And when people get to say it gets dragged out, actually, this new Super doesn't drag it out there, but Dragon Ball Z did drag it out. But that's, like, as a true fan, and I watch it every day, that is what I love about it. But the suspense of waiting 20 episodes to see if anything happened was brilliant. Tokyo Ghouls, I've never seen it. Can you speak Japanese die fluently? And can you sound? I, I, literally, I literally just watched two Anamis. One Punch and Dragon Ball, and that's Pretty much because they're the same thing. <laughs> My Chinese limit is number 12, no 47, and a portion of 46. Haven't seen that or heard of it. 
still haven't watched um, Boy Season 2 yet. Or what's the other one? Something Umbrella Academy. Haven't seen Season 2 of that yet either. Yeah, like me. Oh, I'd say I know more than conversational Chinese, but I'm not fluent. In fact, my first language was Chinese. I didn't learn to speak English until I was about three. But I'm worse at, at Chinese than I am English, obviously, because I've, I've grown up around it. No, two and a half when I started preschool or whatever it was called. And that's why my teachers used to think my reading and writing was so poor and they didn't realize and it wasn't until i was at uni at 19 that my lecturer turned around and go you are severely um, autistic severely uh dyslexic I've heard of it alone at homes. Bear in mind, remember, I get very little time to watch anything. When I'm watching Dragon Ball or it's on in the background, when I'm doing spreadsheets and stuff, it's not It's not like I'm sitting down watching it. It's, lit, it's on my iPad. Lydia thinks I'm autistic. Stranger Things I loved. I bet you hated it, didn't you, I say? I love Stranger Things. Season one was really good, except for one bullshit episode of The Sister. You don't know how powerful you are. I didn't like that one. Travellers, like I said last time, I remember we having this conversation, bring back Travellers for sure. Anyone seen Utopia? No, I haven't. I have seen it advertised, though. When it's the two of us together, we go in and out. It's... Oh, he didn't notice it. Until... We started YouTube, actually. And some of the off-footage we'll be talking and mum will talk to me in English and I'll reply to her in Chinese and she'll talk to me in English, I'll reply to her in English and then she'll reply to me in Chinese. I liked Two as a Grower, the second season, the first watch was a bit, second watch, I get it, and season three is also the same. I'm joking with you, I say. <laughs> it's just because you're so, you're so open about what you don't and do like. Uh, I just I'm joking with you. <laughs> and if I didn't think you could take the joke, I wouldn't say it. Um, I couldn't recommend that enough. I love Utopia. Super dark. Very. Is it? Is it a sci-fi? If it is a sci-fi, I'm all over that shit. I love sci-fi more than anything, and I really want there to be more Orville because it was like another Star Trek or Stargate because each episode is a story and it's not like a long-running story. Oh, yeah, there is no Ed. I don't know where my phone is. I don't know. I haven't talked to him today, though. I've been talking to him all week. Normally, when he's not in, it means it's a, he's at his uh, dad's, his stepdad's, or traveling back from his stepdad's. <clears throat> but, Ed, it, but Ed normally does sort of like three weeks in and then comes back for four weeks and then does three weeks off. I've completed all the Stargate now. 
I'm now on to Atlantis, the last season, and I've got about seven episodes left. And I'm really sad because I know the next one is Stargate Universe. And they stopped that after two seasons, and I thought that was quite good. But... Can you speak Africans? See, uh, I'm not I'm not that good unless it's sci-fi. If they added like, you know, it was 50 years in the future, I'd be all over that. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? I don't know why. I just love. There's something. Unless you're euphoric about seeing the future and what is possible. And it's why it's sort of like period dramas really bore me but normally, unless it's like Vikings. Because it's the past and it's already happened. But in the future, this is all possible. I can't explain that. It's just me. I've never watched Luke Cage. Um, I always meant to. It's just one of those ones I never got round to. And the defenders have never got round to watching either. But I wanted to, but that got ca but both got cancelled, didn't they? So I won't watch it. That's really cool. I'd love to learn some Africans though. That'd be awesome. Like I said, my the guy the, the guy who owns the post office, Brian. He's an absolute fucking legend, and. Um, He's Africans. I'd love to be able to go in there and speak some to him because I'm not 100% sure if he can speak because not all Africans people can speak, can they? Wow, 11. Very true, Mando. This is the way. Fallen Skies was amazing. Ending was a bit of a cop-out, but it was obvious that they knew it was going to get axed, so they just made up some giant queen somewhere. But I really liked... Yeah, I know. I know. But he's... He, he was... Um... His family were there for a while, so I have no idea if he can speak any. I'm pretty sure he has said he can speak Afrikaans to me before, though. Yeah, you're going to teach me a swear word, aren't you? And you're going to see if he if he knows it. Dad's Army was very good, yeah. Season one of Sliders. I think I'm going to rewatch them after I finish Stargate. Predator versus Superman. Firefly's not coming back. I mean, Mole is dead. And he was probably one of the best characters in it. Yeah, like my dad. My dad can do that as well. He, he, he can't speak it, but he can understand. Yeah, the studios, obviously, they axe everything, they don't they? They have to say on everything. Is your dad French? The, the old store is still on for Tuesday, yes. There's new prices, um, and they're a lot cheaper now. But there's not the new stock I've got in. Won't be, I'll be uploading that um, as and when I can. So it'll be in bits and pieces. 
because I didn't realise how long it... Because the old store started off with 10 items, and then I added like two or three, five at a time over a year to get to the 50. And I didn't realise how long putting one item up takes. Uh, right, I see you, Mando. Yeah, I know you said you're a Hampshire family. Do I like spicy food? Yes, I love spicy food. But I'm um, from the school of, if it's too hot for me, I'm not going to eat it. I don't push my through myself. Like I'll eat fresh bird's eye chilies and practically anything oriental. Um, but I won't. I don't like it when it's too hot. But I find that the more, well, anything, like the, um, the chilies... Ch the, the, the chili is is literally a chemical reaction on your tongue that causes pain, causes the release of calcium ions, which causes your nerves to fire a pain response. And um, so you get used to that, so you can eat hotter and hotter. But I think I don't think I can get hotter than what I eat at the moment. I, I mean, you can easily go hotter for sure, but I, I don't think I'd enjoy it because I quite like the flavour of a bird's eye chili as well. Uh, I don't really like the flavour of jalapeno, um, scotch bonnets with Chinese food. It, it tastes weird. No, I, I wouldn't try a fart. I, I think it'd be too hot. I've never had a vindaloo. Apparently, Madras is meant to be hot, but I don't. I don't. It's not hot to me. But they say a vindaloo is really hot and it just doesn't interest me. They do taste weird, don't they? Yeah, I know fowl is meant to be like... I'd probably do it for a video for Ships and Gigs, but that's what it would be for. It wouldn't be for anything other than for your guys' pleasure to see me in pain. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's what I was trying to say, Days. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't understand why you want to... I mean, I get trying it once just to see what it's like. I do get that. But when you get these people going in, and you can see that they're physically not enjoying their food, but they're pretending they are. Having said that, though, is it a slight masochistic thing? Because it's like tattoos at the end of the day, isn't it? Like they're painful, but there's something quite relaxing about them at the same time. Yeah, endorphins. I take that back. I take that back. So I can see why people do do it. Yeah, true, Pete. Very true. But that's very old hat now. It's like. I feel that kind of mentality is going a bit. Like people nowadays aren't impressed by it because it literally makes you look weak by trying to act so hard. <laughs> I think they are. Jesus, really? Like just as they are. I mean, I've been known to pick up a bird's eye and just chew it because I like the flavour, but I just, anything hotter. Weirdly, you know those shin cups that I love? I don't feel any heat on my tongue at all. I'm not going... <laughs> When I eat them, 
there's no heat whatsoever, but they make me sweat and my eyes and my nose run. If I got to 100,000 subscribers on this channel, I would eat California, a California Rico, yeah. That's never good. I, even, even if we got to a million on Jang's Food Workshop, this channel, I reckon, max is going to get 40,000 because you have to specifically like me as a person to want to be here. And I think I'm very chalk and cheese. You either get me or you don't. And I think 80% of people, or 90% of people don't get me. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, it makes my eyeballs sweat. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what it is. And I think it's because the majority of YouTube are the younger audience who like to see someone going oh, it just irritates me when you <laughs> like you see these new youtubers who start up and they're trying to be so out there because they see the big youtubers being like that and they got that way because they were there first and they've been there for like years like seven eight years and they were the first to do it and then you get them just acting like hey um john but my mates call me john face <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing that? No, no one's going, oh my God, this guy is so quirky. Because every motherfucker is doing that. Every fucking basic bra is doing the same thing. Oh, I've still got them. Um, and I'm waiting for Scott to come around because he said he'd, he'd do the challenge with me. So when he can come around, we'll do that challenge together. Once in Turkey, a chef I knew was having a lunch of pickled chilies. My wife said Dave likes hot chilies, so he offered me some. Maybe be my <laughs> Yeah, it's incredible what some people find hot and some people don't. Yeah, it is so try hard. I didn't know what that was until people told me from, I think it was from a live stream when me and we were eating at the start of the videos. Fully, you've hit the nail on the head. And unfortunately, sometimes, and it sounds harsh, sometimes being yourself isn't going to cut it and i do see why people put on a persona for youtube but then i genuinely believe with youtube a lot of it is luck right right place right time right and i can i think i've said this in the video before i can tell you the keys to having good videos but doesn't mean people are going to watch them I don't even listen to my own advice though, so what the fuck do I know? I just do my thing. I've always been like that. I'm not going to do something because I should. I'm just going to, if I like it and that's what I want, I want that to be how I want it. I don't know what that is, Mando. I don't really. I'm on TikTok but as James Week Workshop, but I don't. I don't go through it. I love hot spice, but want to have taste. Yeah, it's all about taste at the end of the day, and chili can give you that extra flavour because um, it helps oxidise food on your tongue. But at the same time, you're right. If it's too hot, what, what's the point?
It could be something wrong with that algorithm. It could just be because he took the time to watch it and get angry. I, I do that all the time. Like with Facebook especially, I'll tend to watch videos that annoy me just so I can be annoyed at them. And I watch them over and over again with the same reaction of how annoyed I am. And because of that, they sh keep showing me the videos I don't want to see now. Like, oh, like, I, I was going to... No, I'll, I'll save that for a vlog. No, because there's only 15 people watching and most people aren't going to watch this far. But life hacks. They were awesome when they first came out about six, seven years ago. Now they're scraping the barrel for shit to be a life hack. Like, <laughs> like don't just put your cotton buds in a jar. Cut a can in half. Put a rubber band round round your cotton buds. Put it in the can. They no longer rattle about. It was an issue in the first place. It's never been an issue, and it's because you've got nothing left to say. You have to make up absolute bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Except I'm showing myself how rubbish it is over and over again. I keep selecting. I'm not interested in reporting them, but they always say it's not against community standards. I think on, I know on Facebook it does learn if you say I'm not interested in this because it won't make them enough money if they are interested. To be honest, anything. I'm happy with a 22. 22 long rifle. Basic iron sights. Under lever action, and I'm happy. It's just about the joy of shooting for me, if I'm honest. It's not about the calibre or, or anything like that. I have no need for a, a high-powered rifle. Shit, I take my air rifle, and you can bring a real gun. But to me, it's just more about the the actually doing a shooting the the target, if you know what I mean. If I had superpowers. I think the world would be a lot better place. And I think, well, I know for a fact I wouldn't misuse them, which makes me boring, but I've got that sort of messiah complex where I need, if I have, if I can do something good, I will do something good with it. Yeah, I really want the FX. In fact, I think we've talked about it before. There's another Swiss company. They've just released a gun, and it's it's for pre-order only, and it's going to be released this month or November. But it's the first in the UK. Okay, RSA. I was just saying in the UK, it's the first semi-automatic a PCP um, that we can get, and we're legally allowed to own. Is it goes through loads of hoops. I think it's Swiss, 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 but it's 2,700 quid. I mean, that's something I'll, I'll, I'll buy late, a lot later down the line, but I, I want that. I can't remember what it's called. I'll send you the link if you want to just see it and 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 see what I'm talking about. Let's do it on Facebook, uh, YouTube, sorry. Uh, the gram, I'll do it on gram. But, um, yeah. Are you? Are you three three size comparisons of sci fi ships? No, I've never seen them. I've got to check that out. Metal Ball Studio. So, so I nearly, I was going to say, I bet you're going to call it BS. And 
And you've done exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Uh. Too, too long rifle, yeah. A 12 gauge shotgun would be cool. I've never done um, clay shooting either, and that's something I've always wanted to try. Are you gonna are you gonna call that BS? Well, what else can you shoot with 12 gauge? It's just clays, really, isn't it? Can't really do target shooting. Well, you could, but it'd be pointless. Winchester M70. Is that the under? The repeater under M70. It, yeah, Insta's just awful, though. Oh, on Insta, I accidentally clicked on a jewellery thing. It was just a... It, it was a, um, a, a... Like a ring with a skull on. They must know that I've ordered from... What are they call North Skull or something like that. So they showed me it. I accidentally clicked on it, and ever since then, I get loads and loads of adverts for companies that do exactly the same thing that sell rings for like 30 quid 40 quid but you can go on ebay and get them for a fiver which are the exact same ring all oh, right i didn't know that I'm guessing you watch a lot of, do you watch a lot of Forgotten Weapons? I love that channel. He gets like two videos up a day. It's brilliant. Yeah, in the UK you can't go home. It's crassy in a few days in the UK. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I remember us talking about it. But again, I really don't mind that. I'm, I'm not. I don't have any issue with them doing that. Is that because you can you can go out basically? What what, what is like? African or oh, Africans food like is it like Dutch food where it's like is there like heavy sort of Indonesian Malaysian influence like lots of curry sauce spices and stuff like that or is it completely different I'm only asking because as far as I'm aware and I could be completely wrong and ignorant, um, but the Afrikaans' culture, or was it, is, is originally from um, the Netherlands. Did I say Dutch before? Are they Dutch? I just had a massive brain fart. Not Dutch. Dutch. The Netherlands, the Dutch. Yeah. Can someone tell me? Oh, the bland. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because, like, um, in the Netherlands, their food is like proper. Dutch and Holland, yeah. Same, same. Cool. They, um, yeah, because when I went over there, their food, I, I, I was shocked. Like, you go to a fast food place and you'd be eating something. Everything's got, everything's got like a, 
like a Malay or Indonesian twang to it, and it's really good food. So I was wondering if they they brought that over to Africa as well. So I'm guessing by your reaction that um, Africans are bland. That's not the case. Is it just a lot of stews and just stuff cooked on the fire with salt and pepper and things like that? Yeah, you've said before about the UK Malay culture. But that's what I was that's what I thought as well, that it was a possibility because of that. Because it makes sense that you would trade between between yourselves. The tiny, right, okay. I'm going to have to start looking into Africans food actually see, see what it's all about You know when you say same same and uh, most most and stuff, is that is that Africans culture? Because that's very sort of like Far Eastern to say as well. They always go same same and most most stuff like that. And I was just wondering if that's you saying that because we've been talking about the food and when you go down there, that's how they talk. We don't like it as it has raisins. <laughs> yeah. I, having said that, though, I do like raisins and curry, weirdly enough. Um, yeah, but Malay, Malays and the... Uh, yeah, they do say it a lot in Thailand, actually. Malays, was, Malays and uh, Indonesians were saying the um, same thing in most of us. That's why I said a... Um, um, Far Eastern thing. Really, Dave? I didn't know that. So are you meant to call them Hollander and not Dutchman? I didn't know that. Do you mean fish curry? Strawberries and curry. I'll have to check that out. Hollander. Hollander. Remember that. Hollander. Hollander, 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 Hollander. Probably, it's probably too late in the night for me to remember that. <laughs> no. Hi, guys. Pardon me. Yes, this is the one that we've been talking about for three months. And it finally turned up about four days ago. I'll try it and see what it's like. Thank you very much, Daz. It's lovely. I like sleeping out here as well because I'll, I'll snore. 
essay is wicked racist. What to say South Africa is is racist or just they are in South Africa. Right, okay. Yeah, if you can send that to me too, please, or I say that'd be awesome. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine it's it's rife over there. Part of one of the reasons why I'd love to go, but I don't think I should go. Oh, yeah, you've got relatives in um, South Africa, don't you, um, Dave? Yeah, my sister moved back from Australia because she couldn't handle the racism. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, like my sister's boyfriend. We've been through this before, but my sister's boyfriend, they've been together for what, about seven years now. And in London, it, 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 like, as someone as, as open as you think England is, like, he finds it really difficult just to go to work sometimes. <laughs> and he wears a suit and in IT for a multi-million pound company he gets paid like three times the salary of the police officers but they still stop him I think they stopped him once because he was on a scooter and they asked where he got the scooter from and he had to go home and get the receipt but that's the thing though it's like Anything that's in, if it's in living memory, it's always going to be really um, what's the word tenuous, isn't it? A friend was beaten, hospitalized from being Congo. That's awful, isn't it? DRC I don't know it's it's just I don't know what it is it's copyright free so I'm playing it <laughs> oh right okay
I know it sounds weird, but when people say like South Africa, I always get a kind of Mad Max image in my head. I know that's probably sort of awful thing to say, but it's just like that's what the media feeds us, and it's it's like especially when you. Get a grip on what, Ian? I'm on sour apple. I want Ian to get a grip on what? I didn't see what he said. Two o'clock, guys. I've got to be up early. Um, so thanks for there's a really good live stream tonight. So thank you for all for making it and the 15 of you who are still in um, at two o'clock in the morning. So thank you very much for being there. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I really like what's it called. Expanse, but I think you probably watched that already. Other than that, I haven't really, I haven't been through Prime because I'm still going through Netflix. I don't get really time to to go through stuff. So Netflix keeps me busy a lot of the time. Anyway, we're coming. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Mods. You've done an amazing job tonight. Thank you very much. And all of you guys just for being here. It's awesome as well. Really appreciate it. Take care. Much love to all of you. Bye.